Finally to cricket, and the English selectors made major changes to their team this week. Out of the English team for the third test was Hick, due to injury, uh, Lewis, Foster and Gatting, apparently they were English, and Tufnell for obvious reasons. <laughs> Meanwhile, Captain Graham Gooch was optimistic about his team's chances. Uh, you know, it's going to be a new look side, but very inexperienced. But I think we're coming in handy. Tommy, it's Rob here. Uh, hello, Rob. You know, Tommy, each week we supply a dazzling array of satirical insights, but some, as that one was there, more than others, become truly champagne comedy. Thank you, Rob. While we're on the subject of cricket, I've been joined by Mick, who I believe has something he'd like to get off his chest. Mick. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you're right, Tommy. I've seen some... Some cheap, tawdry stunts in my time. Uh, I've witnessed some insidious, vile forms of prostitution. Even participated in some of them. <laughs> but this has got to be stopped. And the only way to do it is to teach the dirty, rotten, stinking, low-down, no-good, double-crossing, back-slapping trader a good, hard lesson. Mick, I take it you're talking about England's decision to play McCaig in the third test. Ooh, damn tootin' right I am, Tommy G. I hope this Judas gets what's coming to him, that's all I can say. I want to see a scorecard that says, McCaig, runs none, wickets none, friends none! Mick, Mick, Mick you, you can't hate him that much. <laughs> hate him? Tommy, right now I prefer Philip Tufnell, I've got to tell you. <laughs> I wish I was playing in that Australian team. If I was Merv Hughes and I was steaming into bowl while that peanut was at the other end, there's no way I'd release the ball at the bowling crease. Oh, no, no way. I'd run straight down the wicket and just drop it directly on the top of his head like that. I'd bash it on his big, goofy skull. The ball would never leave my hand, Tommy. What do you think about that? Well, I think... Ah, shut up, would you? <laughs> In fact... <laughs> I reckon the Australian bowlers shouldn't even bowl. They should just stand there and chuck it at him. <laughs> Brand it, pep it. I don't care what they chuck. House bricks, bottles. They can chuck spears for all I care. The last thing I want to hear from the Australian team is stuff like, how is he? I want to hear bullseye. <laughs> if I... If I was an Australian batsman and I was given out to that miserable creep, say like Taylor was, you know what I'd do? You know what I'd do? I'd just pick up a stump and stab him. <laughs> no little Monica Sellers stab either. Oh, no. A dirty great crust right to the gizzards. Hey, maybe with the one that's got stump cam. See if we can't see if there's a bit of a heart or a spine in there. Huh? I say we put a curse on the big goon. Point the vote. Look, I've made a voodoo doll. I've made a voodoo doll. <laughs> I don't know if it's McCaig or one of the village people, yeah. but I've made a voodoo doll. He's gonna cop it in the next guy. I've had a couple! 